Hi there, welcome to the Faculty of Science at Monash University. My name is Richard Rayner, I'm the Deputy Dean Education within the Faculty and I'm here to present a short video to you explaining the process of enrolment and getting started with your science component of your double degree. Uh, let me explain the structure and what it is you need to do within the science component of your degree and then I'll touch a little bit on what you'll be doing during your other degree with which it's paired. So your first year, once you've enrolled, will look something like this, assuming you're enrolling full time. You'll be doing four units of science and you'll doing, be doing four units from your other course, whichever pairing that might be, whether it's a science arts combination or a science IT combination or whichever, you will be doing units from both of those courses. The science component then we've indicated here in orange and the non-science component we've indicated in blue. In the course of the first year then, you'll be taking these units. But let me explain a little bit of terminology. When I refer to a unit, you can think of that as being a subject. And a unit is usually six credit points. There are some that are more, and they'll always be in multiples of six credit points, but most of them are six credit points. And that means for a full-time enrolment, which is 48 credit points per year, you will typically do four units of six credit points each in semester one and four units of six credit points each in semester two for a total of 24 credit points per semester. And these will comprise your full-time enrolment. If you're studying part-time, of course, you will, you will do fewer units and your degree will take longer to complete. But ultimately, a Bachelor of Science is part of a double degree then. Over four years in this example, there are some examples that take longer because the, the um, second degree that you're doing is a longer duration, but let's look at one where it's done in four years. Over the course of four years then, your completed enrolment will look something like this. You'll have four years worth of science units and you'll have four years worth of units from your other degree. One of the things you'll notice is that I've marked two specific units here, one coded Psi 1000 and one coded Mathematics and st Statistics. And those are core units for the Bachelor of Science, meaning that every Bachelor of Science student must complete them. I've indicated with the arrows that these can be done in either semester. They're both offered in semester one and semester two. And it's up to you as to which semester you choose to do each of them. Within a Bachelor of Science, you must complete a major. And a major is made up of 48 credit points. The typical structure is what I've shown on the screen here that you will do 12 credit points or two units at level one, and then you will make up the remaining 36 credit points of units from levels two and three. Collectively, those form the major that you take within the Bachelor of Science. You will also have to do something similar in your other course, but it's important that you check the rules specifically for that course to find out what your requirements are. We also have minors that you can take, and the minor is sort of a smaller version of a major to think of it that way. And in a minor, you would do 12 credit points in year one and then or at level one, and then you would do 12 credit points at levels two or three across the course of your degree within the four year total in the example that we're using. We have a very large number of majors, extended majors and minors that are eligible to be counted in a Bachelor of Science that you see on the screen here. Some of these are taught within the Faculty of Science and some are taught within other faculties, in particular the Faculty of Medicine, Nursing and Health Sciences. And those are the biomedical type majors. But I think of a major as being your area of specialisation. So when you leave university, having completed your double degree, for the Bachelor of Science component, think about what it is that you would like to describe yourself as being, whether it might be a geneticist or an environmental scientist or a chemist and so on. That's the major that you would select and you will do the same in your other course. Let me just explain a little bit of terminology so that when you come and make your specific unit selections, you know what you're looking for. So you'll see in the example we've given here that we've listed some specific units and their codes. So each unit has a code. The first three letters of the code tell you a bit about the discipline. So in this example here, EAE stands for Earth, Atmosphere and Environment, and BIO stands for Biology. You'll see that the first number that appears there in this example, they are all one. And that means it's a level one unit. So one that is at the beginning of your degree. And you would typically take that in your first year or possibly your second year. You can come back and do level one units later, 
but that's the thing to understand. It's at level one. And then the remaining digits indicate the specific and unique code for that particular unit. A pair of units with matching um, letter codes there is known as a sequence. And in the first year of your Bachelor of Science, you will typically select four units that make up a sequence. You must complete two sequences within the Bachelor. Now, although you might often select these in your first year, you're not required to do them in your first year. You must complete them before you, before you finish your degree, but they will set you up for the units that you take at level two and beyond. So the sequences of units that you select should be aligned to your areas of interest and thinking about what majors you might like to complete or select from. You um, are not restricted in the sense that you must commit early on, Select those sequences on the basis of your general interests and then you'll make your final decision about your area of specialisation or your major a bit later on when you select your level two units next year. Now because you're doing double degree, it might be spread across your first two years of enrolment, but this is something to think about in anticipation of what you're going to take at the higher levels. Not all first year units form sequences together, so it's important that you check carefully there are some units that you can take in first year that don't form a sequence and therefore they won't meet this requirement. So ensure the ones you select do and the list of sequences is available in the undergraduate handbook. So in your first semester then, you will select two science units and two units from your non-science degree and you will do the same in second semester. If you start mid-year, you'll be doing the same thing but in reverse order. So you'll select your semester two units first and then you'll complete your first, first semester in the following year. Now this does mean that some sequences um, are not available to you because the second semester unit has a first semester prerequisite. So that does limit your choices a little bit and it's important that you check carefully whether that semester two sequence unit has a first semester requirement or not. Okay, so let me speak a little bit about the core units that you need to take. One of which is in mathematics and statistics and the other is in science communication. And if you remember, those are available to you in either semester. I've listed here the mathematics units that, we'll take, that you can take that will meet that maths core requirement. And you can see there's quite a selection, including statistics. Now the unit that you take, you need to think about carefully. You should select a unit that aligns with the mathematics you took at VCE even if it's no mathematics, um, how well you did in your mathematics at VCE and where you plan to go in terms of doing the majors that you have. Uh, so you select a unit that's matched to the background that you have, but also whether you're planning, for example, a biological sciences uh, major or a biomedical sciences major or a major, for example, in physics and astronomy. If you're doing the more biomedically oriented units and the biological sciences, then um, statistics is more likely to be useful to you in, uh, for satisfying your core requirement, because that's the sort of exposure you will get during your major, experimental design, statistical analysis, and so on. On the other hand, if you were doing the astrophysics major, you will need to undertake mathematics because that's part of the, of the physics requirement and you'll need it for later year units. So select your units carefully there on the basis of where you plan to go and what your background is. And if you're not sure, the School of Mathematics has an instructional video which helps you selecting those particular units. Now, because you're doing double degree, you won't necessarily have space in your timetable to take both of your core units in the first year, and that's fine. You can complete them sometime in your second year as well. Think about when they will fit, and get them done in those first two years so that by the time you're moving into level and three, two and three units, you've got them taken care of. So your first year of enrolment then will look something like this. You'll have two science units, hopefully forming a sequence. You will have your mathematics and statistics core unit. You'll have the science communication core unit, unless you decide to delay those to your second year. And then you'll have four units that you've selected from the other course in which you're enrolled. At the end of your four years, assuming it's a four year degree, this is the structure of your degree. You'll have essentially an equal number of units um, contributing to your science degree and contributing to your non-science degree, whichever one it is. You'll have satisfied the core requirements, you'll have completed a major, 
and you have all the satisfied satisfy the requirements for your second degree as well. So steps to completing your enrolment. The first step is select your units for your first year. Think about the mathematics units you're gonna take, think about which sequences you wanna take, and make sure you, you check the requirements for the other degree in which you're enrolled. They may well be different to a Bachelor of Science. You will have different core units and so on. So it's very important that you look at the instructional video or get advice on enrolling in your other degree. If you're not sure what to do at any time, check the handbook and you can also contact Monash Connect and ask for course advice. There are instructional videos from other schools within the faculty here that tell you more specifically about different areas of study that would be helpful to you. Best of luck. We look forward to seeing you on campus and seeing you start your degree. Bye.